two, one. Hi, everybody. Mr. Higgins here, and we are going to start into Photoshop 101, where we are starting to get into the advanced Photoshop skills. This is uh, some examples of what we did last year. Now, we're kind of mixing and matching PNGs with people. We're still going to do this project, but this is going to be part two. What we're gonna do before we get into mixing and matching PNGs, I want us to practice using the select tool and the eraser tool, and we're gonna take pieces of faces apart and we're gonna layer them up on other faces. I have some examples of this that you can see. What we're gonna do for part one is you're gonna take five portraits. Those could be celebrities, famous people, animals. Some people really like to mix and match. This is an example right here. So I took a lion and I took out some of the lion's faces and I put them on Ronaldo and you kind of use free transform and warp and I'm going to show you how to kind of erase down and try to blend some of those facial features. This next one here I, I took Trump and blended him with Kim Kardashian and use some color matching. I'll show you how to do that. You don't have to do celebrities. Some of the funnest ones is that you could get photos of family members or even photos of yourself. So this is my uncle and I took a photo of him a few years ago when we were at the beach. And this is a photo of my cousin. And what I did is I Photoshopped my uncle's face onto my cousin. So you could do this with your family members if you want for part two. You can start to add some funny things like fake hair, or eyeglasses, you know, all kinds of different things. Here's one of my last examples. This is Mr. Higgins on Ariana Grande, which is uh, some nightmare fuel there. But hey, you know, all I did, I just took a quick photo with my cell phone. Uh, make sure you take it in good light so it's as bright as possible. Just email it to yourself and you can start Photoshopping yourself as one of those five. To start, what we want to do is search out high quality, really big high res images. Because in order to make this project look as good as possible, we want to have really big images. You used to be able to set your size to extra large in Google Images, but that disappeared. I found a website that'll still let us do that. If you go right here, it's gogl.app. There's some options down here. What I want you to do is click minimum two megapixels. You could also do four megapixels if you want to, but that's gonna make it really big. From any type, you could change it to face, and that'll give you a lot of portraits, a lot of faces. Uh, this will also work for animals, so don't worry. If you click face, it'll still work for animals. You could put it to JPEG, J JPG, and then when you've got two megapixels face JPEG, uh, you're good to search. So then you just click enter, and it'll give you only give you really big photos to use. If you look at the bottom left of these images, you'll see the resolution there, and you want ones of, that have kind of interesting facial features that you can take. This one, for example, 2000 by 3000 looks great. Let it load up. Right click the image and click Save Image As. Go to your Zero Computer Science Studio folder and you're going to click New Folder and you're going to make a Project 3 Photoshop 101 and click Save. Download five images to start. Once you've saved your five or you've sent a photo of yourself, and then we're going to go over to Photo P to start to edit these. What we're going to do is edit five of them out and then we'll start to mix and match. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. First, you're going to open from computer and we want to open up the image that you're going to use. So I'll grab this one right here. And what I want to do first is there's this tool here called the Crop Tool. So you click the Crop Tool, figure out what you want to take out of the photo. So for this, I'm just going to get her eyes. I don't care about anything else. So I'm going to put the crop tool around and then I'm going to hit enter. So that'll take away everything else. That's the reason we got really big images. So now we can start to zoom in. So I'm going to click the zoom tool and I'm going to zoom in. Now I'm going to go up here to the lasso tool. And what I'm going to do is I just want to get her eyes. So I'm just going to pull that around, do a lasso. And if I hold down the shift button, that'll let me select multiple ones. So that, that way I can create two. Now what I'm going to do is edit cut or control X and then edit paste control V. What I'm going to do right now is right click back my background layer and I'm going to delete. Now what I'm going to do is hold down control D to automatically deselect or I can go to select deselect and now I'm ready to erase the edges to make it so it'll be good for blending in with other images. Go down to my eraser tool and then I'm going to come up to my eraser options. This is really important when you're blending images you need to make sure your eraser is very soft. So it's kind of like spray paint instead of a marker. If you're set to 0% hardness, that's good. And you kind of want to make this so it's kind of big. So, so that's eraser is pretty small. I can't give you a, a specific number because it'll be different for each project. But then when you got that eraser, so see how that's creating a nice soft line. I want to go around and make sure that all the hard lines are away from my image. When you've got all rid of all the hard lines, you're ready to save. This is my first one. Remember, we need to do five. I'm going to go and I'm going to save as a PNG. And you should have naming turned on, so we'll save. I do the initial B E I S P N G. 
save. Now I can repeat this process. I'm going to show you how I did the lion uh, that I combined with Ronaldo. The animal is going to be the same exact process. Remember, you kind of want to zoom in. You want to make sure you get all those details. And when you've got that, you save it as a PNG. So right now I've saved two and you just keep this process going. Do as many celebrities or animals as you want. I say once you get five, you've completed my assignments. If you want to mess around with more than that, that's totally fine with me. Now I am ready to start to combine some of those images. I am going to open from computer and I can pick any of these that I want. For my example, maybe I'm going to, I'll pick me, Mr. Higgins, and say if I wanted to start to combine some of those animal images, I'm gonna go file, open in place, and I'm gonna grab the lion on this one. Now you can change it up to the size you want. I'm gonna click the check mark up here. Problem is that a lot of these pieces won't match up. And actually the lion looks pretty decent with my beard. What I wanna do is I'm gonna right click on my image and I'm gonna click rasterize. And that's gonna let me edit it. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click and duplicate that layer so there's two of them. I want to start to separate this out. So I'm going to get my eraser. I'm going to set that hardness back up to 100% and I'm going to set my size because what I actually I want to use the eraser. I just want to have the mouth. I'm going to I can turn that eye off. So now all I can see is this new layer that I'm working on. So now I've just got this. Remember I could turn on the original face here. Um, but I'm going to keep that off because I just want to work on one piece of the face at a time. I'm going to move that around to where it looks kind of good. One thing you can do to check too is see how it says opacity. That means if it's transparent or not, so I can take that down. If I leave it half and half, it'll kind of show me where it'll lay. I've got the nose shape right there. That looks great. I'm going to turn the opacity back up. And now I'm going to, I could mess around with edit free transform if I wanted to make it a tiny little bit smaller. So maybe I'll make it a little bit smaller. So Okay, looks pretty good. There's a more advanced skill rather than just free transform. You can do transform warp. Transform warp, you might need to zoom out. So I'm going to right click zoom out and then I'm going to go to edit transform warp. Now transform warp lets you push and pull the image a little bit. And I'm going to repeat that process. So what I'm going to do to repeat that process, now I'm going to turn that mouth off. I'm going to turn the original layer back on and I'm going to get my eraser. I'm going to make sure that's set up back up to hard again. And then I'm going to, so I, could, I don't need to worry about that one. Um, and now I just want to get the eyes. So now on this layer, it's just the eyes. I'm going to duplicate this layer. Okay, when I duplicated my eyes, I'm gonna do that same thing. So I wanna separate these into left and right eye so I can edit them separately. So on this one, I'm gonna turn this layer off and I'm gonna get my eraser and I just wanna erase one eye. And then I'm gonna turn that one off and I'm going to click to the other layer and I've just got that eye. So now what that's done, when I duplicate and erase, it lets me have a different eye on each layer. So I'm gonna do edit free transform. And I'm going to kind of move these around. Now, here's a here's one of the advanced skills is you can start to change some of the color. So notice that the lion face is a lot warmer. And that means it's got kind of more reds. And my image here is I've got some blue light on me because of the camera lights I'm using. What I can do to fix that is if I click my background image, I go to image adjust and I go to color balance. I'm going to set my color balance to midtones. And now I can start to change the color of the image. So I can start to add a little bit of red so it matches up. Click OK. And uh, it's starting to look pretty good. I think you get the idea. I'm going to go into super fast mode, finish this up, and I'll check back in a second. Okay, so I'm almost done. I just want to, I uh, got the hair finished. I do want to just make that a little more orange so it matches my beard so I can do the same thing. I change the background color. I think for my Photoshop, this is looking pretty good. I've got a uh, Mr. Higgins lion. That lion one was pretty complicated, but for your three that you're going to be doing, you want to put at least three faces together, they can be a lot simpler. So for example, if I got Ronaldo here, now, and I go to open in place, I can bring in those Billy Eilish eyes. Remember, so I'm going to turn, I want to kind of get them close, and I want to make them smaller. So I'm going to hold down shift when I make it smaller. I'm going to get them kind of close there. Getting closer, closer. It's pretty close, a little too big at the moment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate that layer. I'm going to grab my eraser. Make sure when I'm erasing, I want to set up to 100% hardness. I'm going to erase, oh, I need to rasterize so I can erase them. I'm going to erase the one. Okay, click the other layer, erase the other. So now I've got, and I can start to zoom in.
feeling pretty happy with that. So that alone, just dropping those two eyes in, adjusting and putting on someone else, that could count as one of your three. When you've got at least three character manipulations done, to you can add multiple people to a single person. In Photoshop 102, we're going to start adding PNG. So adding hats, adding, mix and matching, adding backgrounds, cutting people out. So that's it. Super excited to see what you make and have a great one. Bye.